Hey guys, and welcome back to a new round of State of Survival, your favorite monkey. Today we check out Shellshock, but that beating level 10. And that is for Spender because I bought the pass. I will do another video where I explain it the free to play player way, but that definitely not for level 10. So, what we see here at the start, there is nothing that I want, so I choose the stuck. Here we see there is a tower, and I play only with towers because that is part of the strategy where we go on more to detail. So, there is another tower, so I take another tower. And beside the tower, we focus on sustainability, heal and damage reduction. That is what we see here. Damage reduction is one of those I want. There is another tower we select now. And here we take also the damage reduction because that is heavily important for the last part. And here we choose again damage reduction. Now comes a little bit part and we get so many damage reduction here here we choose health so we have a higher health at the later stage which is important especially when the bosses come into play here we boost now the health again because that is a good feature at the start it says one percent but later on it will be three five percent so that will be definitely helping to stay alive all the time so we run around and around and around so that is really important do not get catched off a lot of those zombies or foot clan soldiers however you want to call them and check that you collect once in a while those diamonds we boost the towers and we still have one slot free and that one slot is dedicated in my eyes absolutely for movement speed increase because that will help you especially to run around from the bosses later on with a b-pop and rocksteady as opponents in that case so we see that i have the advantage i bought the pass i have three times speed so that is what we do we boost again our health in that case here because that is what really matters on the later stage. Right now we can just run away, but later on with the bosses, it will be a lot tougher to survive everything of that. So we still hope for movement speed. We are three minutes in and there we got the movement speed. That is super important. Just 5% for now, but we will try to boost that with the next part. Here is the momentum where I really thought I will lose that round already, but luckily I had enough sustainability and damage reduction active so they couldn't kill me in that crowd. So we really run around and pay attention when you're using that skill because that skill can also kill you really fast if you move into a big crowd then it can be the case that you are killed so that is why you have to go at the edges around it and not getting full into the crowd otherwise that will kill you and we still run around good towers are frost tower and the shock tower that are really good ones. The others are not bad, but they are better in my opinion. So, and that is what we do at the end. The full time run around in a circle to not get hit by B-pop speed or later on by the Rocksteady shoots that we see here. Those small yellow shoots are from Rocksteady and B-pop is the one boosting and trying to run into you and here you see the whole strategy the selection that you use the towers you boost the towers you boost the movement speed and the damage reduction and healing part those are the basic setups needed to be successful at the higher levels that is also a strategy for free to play player i will show in the second video how i beat without any talents the level four as an example in that case i have the advantage that i have bought the past i could speed it up and at the end 
managed to kill it. That we see here, and that is what's going on. We do run around in circles, away from getting hit by B-Pop or Rocksteady in that case. And that's what we do for the next two minutes, so I won't bug you to watch it all the time. We just run around in circles for a long time. Not really a few moments later, two minutes later, but then we closer the gap and run around in a small circle once all infected or Foot Clan members are dead. We only have B-Pop and Rocksteady left, so we go in a closer circle to get them constantly hit by the towers. And that way we kill them on level 10 and that counts for every other level. It is literally the same how you beat those levels. It needs a lot of patience and a lot of round and around and around and around. And then you finally manage to kill also the last one and managed to get that and get the rewards.